You really shouldn't smoke, Mrs. Luthor. This is the same brand my doctor smokes. So you're not afraid of the American press? I'm not afraid of anything. Have you ever considered that a lack of fear can lead to arrogance, recklessness? Eisenhower's saying your people sabotaged their own satellites. We did no such thing. So that you could come flying in to save the day. You have to admit, it is the perfect propaganda opportunity. Is it propaganda to envision a world where the poor and afflicted can be lifted out of misery? Where the working classes can rise together and reshape humanity for generations? You're a super alien. What could you possibly know about humanity? Until I was 12 years old, Mrs. Luthor. Lane, I'm not an appendage. Until I was 12 years old, Miss Lane, I was as human as you are. This planet is the only home I've ever known, and I would sacrifice anything to protect her. The United States already is the protector of the free world, the bulwark of liberty and equality. Your bulwark was built on the backs of slaves and immigrants, and it hasn't changed much, has it? While you and your privileged kind live in luxury, all across your country people are struggling, suffering, dying. I can't deny that there's a gap between the American dream and the American reality. But there are some massive gaps in your utopian vision that need addressing as well. What is this? Proof of the repression in the USSR. The gulags. Mass executions of people unfortunate enough to be labeled dissidents by your beloved Premier Stalin. Lies. I would certainly know if such things existed. Would you?